Hello everyone. When I want to completely isolate a subject, instead of using Frisket to mask off the area, I use an alternative. Easy Liner is a brand of sticky draw liner that you can get from the big box stores and the whole roll was only around $6. Frisket can be very expensive and there's no real need to use it when there are alternatives that work just as effectively. I cut out the image I want to mask off and peel off the backing. It's completely removable, so I'm not too worried about getting it exactly where I want it. I just try not to get it stuck to itself when I place it down, as it won't become unstuck easily. I want to draw on the bird with coloured pencils, so I'm adhering the mask to Strathmore Bristol Smooth Drawing Paper. So as you can see, it's really very easy to apply. This was partly a test to see if I could paint over it and also draw on it once it was removed. Now that I've got my bird attached to my easel, I can start airbrushing a background and the look that I'm after is just something simple like some clouds in the sky. I like to keep my backgrounds uncluttered so that the subject is the focus of attention and I'll be putting lots of details into my bird. I'm not an expert at airbrushing by any means, but it's a quick and easy way to get blurry out of focus backgrounds in a fraction of the time it would take to use coloured pencils. I'm using acrylic paint thinned down just a little. Acrylic dries really fast and when it does it will be a matte finish which is important as I want the background and the bird with the coloured pencils to look good together. I have my work on my art table now. My other concern was that it might not be quite as easy to remove and get stuck in parts or be difficult to lift up the edges. It is quite removable but you want to make sure you're finished putting in your background completely before trying to remove it as if your background needs more work you can't just lift off an edge to see if it's masked off properly and then re-stick the liner. You might be able to get away with that for large areas where there aren't any edges to the cutouts, but I tried it for a maple leaf with tiny pointed leaves and the points wouldn't re-stick afterwards as they folded in and stuck to themselves. Once the liner is stuck down, it adheres really well. I have quite long nails, so it was a little tricky to remove carefully, but not at all impossible but you don't want to scratch the acrylic painted background with your fingernails or you'll see the white paper underneath and then there's no real easy way to patch that so you really do have to watch what you're doing. I held on to the paper to keep things a bit more stable but the trick is to go really slowly and just pay attention to what you're doing but it will peel off nicely and I recommend taping down your artwork first as well to just stop everything moving around. Another experiment was to see if I could remove the draw liner after it had sat on some drawing paper for several days. Would it still peel off or not? Well, it did peel off, so that's really good to know. Of course, the only drawback to a mask is that you're going to get a finite line around your whole edge and it's going to be hard to draw over it. So I will say that the masking method is not foolproof as you do have to be careful when you cut it out. If you plan on doing a super dark background, you'll have to be extra careful in cutting out as if you're applying light colors with colored pencils, you'll find that areas of the colored pencil don't cover the acrylic paint because coloured pencil is more opaque than acrylic and of course you can only apply so many layers of coloured pencil. On the other hand, if you want to paint the bird, then acrylic will cover any of those overlapping areas. If you look closely, you can see that the tail is too thin. I should have cut the drawliner mask a bit thicker, 
But by the end of the drawing, it didn't look like I'd made a mistake, partly because of the nature of the bird's feathers. But you can see that things can get a little bit tricky. And now, as I have reworked some different colour greens into the bird, you really can't tell that I cut the tail area of the draw liner too close, as it pretty much gets covered up. And I had read on some forums that some folks had experimented with Glad Press and Seal, which is a kind of fancy Glad wrap that you can use to keep food fresh. I tried that, but it failed miserably as the edges just didn't stick and I think the issue was that Press and Seal is really only good at sticking to certain surfaces and paper wasn't one of them. It just wasn't sticky enough and was too flimsy. But overall I was really happy with this easy liner and the way this drawing came out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.